Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. welcome back. We are doing a popper cube. The popper cube is up in, in here on uh, on Magic Online. Zimini Pot, long time Frankles. Any chance of a commander night with a little bit of lull between sets? No. I hate that format. Possibly, actually. Me and Mike could probably do a commander night a bit. I do actually have a commander deck to play. Hold on, let me find it. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Let me move this guy over here. Bring this back up. Oh, when we did it, we fired. Also, Third Tail, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Danny DB, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you guys for resubbing while I wasn't even here. This is going to take some some processing. I have no idea what's going on in this queue. Bulamog, thank you so much for the resub. You guys are fantastic. I love all of you. You guys keep me alive. You guys are like, you know what? I like this dude. I'm going to let him live. I'll let him live. Thank you. Puppy dog eyes. What up, my dude? Hot dog time machine. I don't know what that means in this context, but I appreciate it. I love a good hot dog time machine. It's like a hot tub time machine, but with a hot dog instead. A lot harder to get into. I like Pondering Mage a lot. Snuff Out's also pretty good. Terror is pretty good. I mean, these are just solid removal spells, right? Non-black, non-black, though. That's something. Pondering Mage is just my boy. I have no idea. Okay, so this is our first popper cube. I don't know how to actually draft this set. I don't know if removal's heavy. I don't know if you need a bunch of removal. I don't know what the color combinations are. So we're going to figure it out together, my dudes. Cloud can see or draw a card. Two, one for two. Or three, I like it. I like it. It's got float. Essence Scatter, Demir Guild Mage, both fine. Baloth Gorger is absolutely humongous when you kick it. Kick it! Uh, Grave Digger is just fantastic. Seriously, are you ready for this awesomeness? I'm about to do something. Oh, Chad, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm ready, my dude. I'm ready. Kozla Channeler does look good as well. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually see your first message where you were like, you're ready for something awesome. So now I'm ready. I have prepared myself. I think it's Grave Digger? Like, Grave Digger and Cloud can see are both... Two power creatures that draw a card. 72 months? <sighs> Chad, that's insane, my dude. That's ridiculous. That Founder's Badge makes a lot of sense, my dude. Thank you so much, buddy. I love you, my dude. That is crazy. Maybe Guild Mage is good. I'm going to take the Cloud Conseer. I don't want to commit to black just yet, because I don't know... You know, there's like no black cards in this pack. Chad, dude... Thank you for six friggin' months, man. That's crazy. Well, I was about to be like 14 months, but now I feel like a horse's... A horse's... Dude, 14 months is still a good amount. Don't... Nobody... Listen. Nobody diminish your own... Uh, you know, string of support. Simply because it's not as big as someone else's string of support. That's not how it goes here. Okay? Did I say six months? Obviously, I meant six years. I think I said six six months because by default my brain is like, that's nah, not years. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to take Journey to Nowhere. Correct. Hashtag all support matters. I agree with Chad. I agree with Chad six years Bradbury. That's what I, that's what I call him. Honestly, I just wanted to say Patoot. Hey, this is a Patoot friendly stream. You can say Patoot whenever you want. God, you remember when looters were like, you just tap them to draw the card? Now it's like, well, you gotta tap it, but... I don't know, throw some mana in there too, I guess. I'm gonna take Mardu Horde Chief. That guy's good. Ooh, I like Call the Cavalry, but I also like Momentary Blink, especially with... Especially with all three of these guys. Oh, we're taking Momentary Blink. Oh, and there's a Watcher in the Mist. Ooh, even Surveyor bounces a dude? Oh. But also Claustrophobia? Oh my god, Chad with six six gifts six gifted subs, one for every year. I actually think Avian Surveyor might be better than Claustrophobia, but especially because you can blink it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Chad, dude, you are too much, my dude. Six years, six subs. You're friggin' amazing. I love you, buddy. I love you. We gotta get together again for a game night sometime. Actually, we're a lot closer now. 
ironically, you're on like, I think you're like six hours away, maybe? Thank you. Uh, none of these cards seem great. The Ocean Soldier is pretty unimpressive. But I guess it's here for a reason. Thank you. Whatever, I'll take this spell. <clears throat> I hear you knocking, but you can't. Delver? Uh, we're not really a Delver deck. None of these cards are great. God, are we just like a red? Are we just taking this red card and, and hoping? What do we have? We have like... Oh, God, literally one spell right now. Yuck. Angler? I guess Angler's an option. Chad, if you're in the area or if you come this way, let's definitely get together again. I haven't seen the new thinner Chad. <laughs> this is the same card. Fortify is the same card as Borrowed Grace, only Borrowed Grace lets you do it twice. Uh, it's the same card. Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. It's the same picture. Whatever. I'll take it. I don't care. Yeah, the half of you that remains is a no joke. Uh, I guess I'll take five drop number three. What happened? We had some really good, like, our first six picks were pretty good, and then it was like, Nah, JK. Oh, Feet of Resistance is wonderful. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if you controlled left the battlefield, you get a 1-1. One, one. I don't think that's as likely. Feet of Resistance is fantastic, though. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. I like that the song is now stuck in my head. Eh. I mean, it's definitely possible that we're just... Okay, it's definitely possible that we're just white red. Stone Quarry is super interesting as well. Scourge Devil. Okay, the blue might have died, but we're gonna we're gonna hold out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna hold out and find out. Hold out and find out. Face fitters. That's pretty nice. Reign of Revelation. I mean, the thing is, we're trading out three blue cards for four red cards right now, so I'm not super... I'm not off red yet. Draw three cards and discard a card is fantastic. Reign was super, super good in every limited format it's been in. I think face fetters might be better. I want to take face fetters. Like, generic card draw is great, but it's not terribly hard to come by. Oh, narcolepsy. Man, the removal in this set is really light. In this cube is really prevalent. There's also clearly a blink theme. Phil, have a good afternoon, buddy. Well, I guess it's closer to a seven-hour drive. I was thinking the drive to Salt Lake, but oh yeah, that's true because yeah, because I'm uh, a little further north than Salt Lake. Like a like a bit further. Hmm. Extreme Kazor, thanks for saying so, buddy. I appreciate it. I think it's just narcolepsy. I think there's taking removal here. Like, I mean, it's going to be a lot of removal, but I assume that's okay.
Temporal isolation, more removal. Hmm. Hmm. Ray of Command is very, very good, especially as an instant. I like Seraph of Dawn. Oh, man. I think Ray of Command is just way too good. Like, that dude just steals games. Mist Raven? Oh, yeah, we're going to either... We're bouncing and removing all your things. Yeah, Mist Raven's great. All right. At the very least, I can visit next year and then go to USC. Uh, next year, I will actually be in Denver, though. So, I believe that's even closer to you, is it not? <laughs> oh, Wretched Griff is sick. Play, like, Cloud Concern to Wretched Griff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Denver in around June or July of this year. I'm only here for, like, a couple months. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. This is the song that was on our, uh, that was on the countdown screen, so that's why it's my head. Oh, Oblivion Ring and Law Mage's Binding? Jeez. I mean, it's got to be lovely Ring, right? Denver's more hours? Is that, is that true? U.S. map. Let me find out. Oh, because I'm because I'm because I'm east of that. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought Colorado was south of Utah, but that's not correct at all. Dang it! Just keeps getting farther and farther away. Silent departure. Our deck seems really annoying. I also don't just hate Flag Bearer. I want to take Silent Departure. I think having two bounce spells in one. Two, two, two in one. Vexingal, Witching Well, Phantom Monster, even Martyr of Dusk. This whole pack is good for us. We don't have any two drops. I like the three drop. Three, three flyer is great. But I do want to like, if we can, we can go Vexingal into Wretched Griff on turn four, which is pretty cool. It's definitely one of these two, I think. Or it actually could be Martyr of Dusk for Wretched Griff, too. I want to take the Martyr of Dusk. I want to have a cheaper card. Calcite Snapper is actually fine. Holds down the ground pretty well. Sandstep Outcast is great, especially with, like, Momentary Blink. I definitely snap pick that Snapper, but it was on the wheel. So is it still a snap pick if it's on the wheel? These are the questions we ask ourselves. <clears throat> Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, three, two flyers, fine. Uh, we're gonna go bang. Hodge Galashi, nicely done. That was definitely what I was trying to do. Oh, Mistral Charger? Until the turn, Turkey loses all abilities and base power. I'm just going to take this fat boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Our deck looks insane. Like, is this just a... Is this a... Is this just how the format goes? I can't tell if this is like... I can't tell if the format just looks like this or if this is just a really good deck. Triplicate Spirits. Oh yeah, we're definitely... Good. I think it's Triplicate Spirits here over Aven Eternal. Especially because we have both Fortify and Borrowed Grace. Isn't Borrowed Grace just strictly better? Like, creatures you can choke at plus two, plus O, or plus O, plus two. Creatures you can choke at plus two, plus... Oh yeah, they're both... They're both instants. You're both choosing one. Where this one you can escalate, right? It's just a strictly better version. Orant Ephemeron? Wow. 
Archaeomancer is nice, but we don't have that many instants and sorceries. Most of our cards are enchantments and stuff. Oh, I like an Arant Ephemeron. Alright, our deck is really good. I mean, I don't even care if this is a... I, I can't even tell if this is like a subpar deck for this format. It's just, it like, on paper, this deck looks f fantastic. Pro mono color. Jeez, get in the sideboard. Get in the sideboard. I hear you guys knocking. She can't come in. Attendant Knight, Lone Missionary, Deprive. I think actually Attendant Knight's good. Again, we like want, a third, we want three drops so we can smash them into four drops. But then again, Lone Missionary, being able to gain life here seems good. There seems to be a lot of aggressive red cards. So I think we're actually going to go with Lone Missionary here. Well, Deprive on Raven is sick. Deprive on Avon Surveyor is sick. On Wretched Griff. On Pondering Mage. On Cloud Conseer. On this guy. Like, most of our most of our deck is, like, enters the battlefield abilities, but obviously that's the cube. Oh, I want to take this Tranquil Cove. Like, we have enough bounce, and I, I'd like to have at least one Fixing Land. Oh, Deprive is the, is the land one. Yeah, you're thinking of the... Yeah, I, I also... Once you said it, I was like, yeah, that is pretty good. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, uh, Caspian's Transition. Surveil 2. Water Knot is just literally another removal spell. There's like a lot of removal in this format. It's kind of unreal. This is 15 cards with a triplicate spirit. 15 creatures with a triplicate spirit. I'm going to take the Kozilek Channeler out. And I'll rest. Every pack has like an enchantment removal card. It's kind of weird. I don't want to take it because it's just removal. Like I'm just going to have an abundance of it. Yeah, I like Otherworldly Journey. Especially in our deck. Getting his life for so much more. Okay, Feet, Journey, Lone, Martyr, Mistral. I think we can board in the Lone Missionary. Narcolepsy, Horde Chief, Oblivion. Everything else here is fine. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Well, literal, literal nothing in this pack. I'm just gonna take Magma Jet. <sighs> Curse of Chains. Chain of Camp Blank, yep, now there are literally two in this one pack. <laughs> just take another one, I guess. It's just, it feels like there's too many. Yeah, I'll take Crippling Fatigue. Wow, no one is red. Raven Inspector. Get them clues. Uh, Stagger Shock seems great for our. Our, our, our hidden red deck. Wow. Alright, so next draft we're going to try to go red because red seems to be very underplayed. We're just going to add you and then add our lands. Nine, seven. Mm, double, 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 double. There's no reason not to go like eight, eight here, I don't think. 
13 creatures plus a triplicate spirits. That seems fine. Uh, I will keep this hand. Uh, when you lose uh, until the until the game until the end of turn. Okay, so that's actually nice because like we could actually steal their guy on turn four and then attack with it and then wretched griff it. Seems interesting. Search for tomorrow. Guardian Idol. Just gonna get in there. This is a lot of. They're gonna have five mana this turn. And we're gonna be like, well, I just want a third land drop. Oh boy, that's something. That guy's gonna go on a journey to nowhere. Journey to nowhere. Land. Come on. Oh, we did it. Oh, we're so good at this game. See you later, dinosaur. Oh, I like a coiling oracle. Yavamaya Shepherd. Sap herd. The sap herd around the world. Might as well tap this guy. I don't want to take no damage. I don't want to take no damage. Guess we'll pass here? Drawing a blue would be fantastic. Well, you should have had 9-7, dummy. I have both my double blue cards in my hand. Maybe it is 9-7. It's weird because we, a bunch of our two drops uh, are white and our one drop is white. So we want white early, but we do want double blue. But there's no reason we're not getting double blue with nine blue sources. Thank you. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's tap this guy. I don't think we're going to steal a 1-1 one, one and block a different 1-1. One, one. That doesn't seem great. Peaches and cream. Do you always wear black? Yes, I do. Is that okay? Is that okay? Thank you for the sub. Really appreciate the resub, buddy. Thank you, thank you. And we could always narcolepsy, feet of resistance to this guy. I guess he's going to be tapped. We did not draw land, just to be clear. What up, Lance? Good seeing you, my dude. Uh, yeah, we got to pass that. What up, Elrond Scrubber? I feel like it's been a while since I got to hang out and watch. Feels good. Disco Biscuits, it feels good for you to be back. Hmm. Huh, huh, huh. Yep, I guess that's fine. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. Land is really our bottleneck here, guys. <laughs> Yeah, the lack of change in Pioneer, I was just like, but but why? Um, hmm. So I'm tempted to Ray of Command end of turn, but then we take like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But then we get to play Wretched Griff for sure and get rid of their Imperious Dinosaur forever. So I think we actually just take the 10, to be honest, and hope they just don't have a counterspell. I really wish this Gideon's Lawkeeper was a 
one two, but does Reyna end of turn not work? Gain control of it till end of turn. How does what does like through the breach say? Uh, you put a creature from uh, that creature against say sacrifice that creature at the beginning of. Oh, you're right. It's end of turn. Yeah, you're right. Dang it. Yep, that's worse. So now they're probably like, why'd you just take an extra? Ah, that's such a big. That's such a. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, well. All right. Now we can block their guys. We can still journey to nowhere, this guy. Uh, journey on this dumb dumb. No. Snapperino. All right. Feels good. So they played an island? Wait, hold on. They cast. They revealed Forest Forest Forest. Sure. What did they just use on that? Oh, they wow, they fucking the cap sizes in this cube? Come on. That's stupid. What is pilgrimage? Put one on the battlefield and the rest in your hand. So last turn they got Force Force Forest, they cast Dragon Hunter, they didn't actually cast one of the forests. So we know they have Force Force Cap size in hand. That's rough. This guy does have Shroud, though. All right. So we know Forest Forest Capsize, I presume. Because they didn't play a Forest the turn they cast it and they cast they put an island the next turn all right forest fin horn elves so in your hand is forest capsize sure one of the different five six seven eight nine ten hmm i assume they bounce this question is do I want to keep up yeah we're not going to switch that probably going to keep all of these up here um no oh what's happening Austin with the Patreon support. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to, you can go to patreon.com slash me, Frank Lepore, and uh, you can support the channel for $1 or $2 a month. Super easy. For the price of a pack of gum, my friends. Okay, so their literal hand is just capsized, which is fucking nuts. Well, thankfully they don't have quadruple blue I don't know how to beat I don't know how to beat a cap size with buyback like that's so stupid like I don't know why that's in this cube <laughs> Chuli's gum what is that from holy crap Chuli's gum why, do, why does that sound so familiar is that oh it's from clerks isn't it Um Yeah, we can actually blink and keep up Ray of Command, which is actually pretty good. All 
All right, well, there's no way they don't capsize here, and we only have creatures, so that's nice. You have no cards in hand. They put it in the graveyard. All right, that was nice. I'm a fan of that. Now they're going to crack that guy, sure. I mean, we can't tap anymore, but we can Ray of Command and steal, like, their guy. Okay, that's a land. Don't care about that. Oh, we're shuffling this for sure. And drawing a Mist Raven. That's pretty nice. All right. Um, no. Mm, guess you can stay home. That worked out quite well. You ever dredged? Never. Never in my life. Oh, that guy again? That old chestnut? I feel like we're way ahead right now. Uh, let's make a 1-1. One, one. And we still have Silent Departure in the graveyard, along with Bomb Ray of Command and Wretched Griff. Yep, that's good. That's pretty good. Do it again. You got it. Well, they just drew four cards. It's a good amount. Six mana, though. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, though, so that's not really a... Oh, we're just going to win. We're just going to win the game. Yep, that sounds good. I'm, uh... All right, so wait. Narcolepsy is... At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have an enchanted creature on tap, tap it for two. Curse of Chains is at the beginning of each upkeep, tap enchanted creature. And Curse just seems better, right? Because it's easier to cast. Right in the guild pack seems fantastic here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someday we'll know. I'm just going to go 41 because I'm a maniac. I rage scooped. Yeah. Such the walks. Such the walks. Oh, wow. Search for more every game. Can I get a Rant Ephemeron? That would be amazing. Turn two, a Rant Ephemeron. Turn three, Cloud can see her. Turn four, this guy. That'd be a bomb. I mean, like I wasn't, I wasn't one hundred percent sold on nine seven yet. It's, it's still a consideration. God, every every game with the five mana on turn three, it's pretty good, and you know. In a pauper format. Oh, wow. All right.
Uh, this is literally the first game I've played with Popper Cube, so I couldn't tell you yet, but I don't have any problems with it. If that's what you're asking. Oh, next turn, Guardian of the Guild Pact. That guy's real good. Well, they're doing a lot of ramping here. I, I assume there's at least one Eldrazi in their deck. Wow, Star Compass and Llanowar Elves. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. Well, they're doing it. I really just want another island so I can cast a lot of things in my deck. Well, Ulong's Crusher we have Oblivion Ring for. Like, I mean, like we have an Oblivion Ring for a guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just draw two, sure. Mongrel's good. Oh, wow. So blessed. Hashtag blessed. Thankfully, you can't make Wild Mongrel uh, multiple colors just by discarding. Hashtag blessed. God, I want the Ray of Command, but I don't want the other cards. I'm going to ship them. Ooh, Water Knot. That's worth it. So even if the next two cards are land, we broke even. Anyone here able to tell me how to approach Mystery Pack Draft? I have I've not Mystery Drafted once. I would probably treat it like Chaos Draft or like a Cube Draft, yeah. I was like, wow, that was a really expensive Flare Husk, but then I didn't see they, they also played Gorgie. Alright, so they have no Flyers and they have no multicolored creatures, so I guess we're safe. They're not doing much is the real problem. Basking Root Wall, sure. Okay. <laughs> That's just... Yeah, our deck seems good. I don't know, man. I'm no expert. Or maybe I am. <laughs> uh... Oh, no, that's not going to do it. Oh, that's going to do it, though. Let's get rid of triplicate spirits. They seem a little pricey for this, uh, for this endeavor. Oh, it's got to be Ran Ephemeron. Like, coming down one turn earlier is extra four damage, whereas one extra attack with Mistral Charger is an extra two damage. Rethinking your comment? I, every time I try to do anything with red and magic, I rethink it. Don't... Don't get it twisted, my dude. Alright, so we're just in the mirror match, but I've done two things, and they have done nothings. Nothings. Alright, that's fine. I want to keep hitting land drops. I'm not going to, though. My deck is like, no, nah, don't get greedy. And I was like, okay. Why didn't they attack? Their guy is definitely less valuable than mine unless they got blink effects. So you didn't attack and you bounced my guy? This is all very fascinating. Where are the good cards? I don't know. You got me. I thought they were in my deck, but... Talk about you for the end of combat step. That's actually surprisingly good, I think. Yep, alright. What was the other thing they did? 
Oh, they suspended their own Arant Ephemeron. Okay. Jump in the line. Everybody in time. Okay, I believe you. Let's yeah, bounce this guy, I guess. I feel like we're ahead. Theirs looks... Oh, theirs. I was like, theirs looks sleepy? They're where? What are you saying right now? Uh, no blocks. They do have five cards in hand. That's a lot. Okay. We skip our next combat step. I'll allow it. Jump in the line. You did use the wrong layer there. It's true. And it's funny because I didn't even mean to like pick at it. I just had a hard time processing the sentence. Oh, um, that guy's all right. So this guy just dies if we attack with it, right? So something's happening. Push it to the limit. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, I'm gonna go to attacks, I guess. I mean, they're gonna do something. Like, they're paying cost pre combat, so. Sure. So, you just take five? Nope, guess not. Blink Mana War. That's pretty good. Sure. Two. Just one damage target attacking creature. Jesus, that card's really good. Walking on the razor's edge. And the problem is they have blink, so they can blink, like, whatever we put on the Arant Ephemeron. But I wanted to get the Mana War off the board so that they can't blink it again. I know a drunk. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Oh, you get back a card. You get back Drag Under. Sure. But they did tap their desert, so that's pretty cool. All right, there are two. That's a real thing. Well, this guy gets to come on down, but I don't think he's going to be doing much this turn. Yeah. Had a feeling you'd be bouncing that guy. But now they can't blink. So they can't blink like... Oh, we just win the game again. Man, we're good at this. I'll take out Narcolepsy, put in Curse. Maybe Curse is not great here. Otherworldly Journey seems good in this matchup. Guardian seems great again. Maybe the Guardian is just like OP in this format. I have no idea. I just work here.
Yeah, I'll keep this hand. It's not super impressive, but we got some things. All right, so. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that's fine. Because next time we're going to get a 1-1 one, one from this, so it's actually uh, pretty good against this guy. Oh, they just cycled Lonely Sandbar. That's fascinating. Spirit. Spiritu. Sure. You got it. Hmm. Let's get rid of this guy. Land would have been nice here. Apparently, this is two games in a row where we've cast, uh, where we've had drag down cast against us. Land. No, 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 nailed it. Let's see if this guy sticks. I didn't see too many counter spells in this form. Oh god. Fuck my life. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember seeing many counter spells as we as we drafted, but here we are. Here we are. Yep, that guy's good. Man, they're like keeping this one desert up, huh? Wait, what? This is rare? I guess it was common at some point. <laughs> Insert year mana leak was printed. My TV is still on. I forgot to shut my TV off when I was watching The Office. Dang it. Oh, I like Wretched Griff here. Let's Wretched Griff. Because I want to hit a land. And we hit it. Hit it! I really don't want them to get this guy back, but I also, like, don't want a 3-4 on the board, so it's... Yeah, people are like you could you could still pay three to resolve your spell. I don't think I'm like you don't understand how much three mana is, do you? They might as well not even be playing the same game. Watch them be like, oh, this guy's got devoid though. I guess we're actually just getting in there. Wow, do they have multiple counter spells in their deck? I did. We did see Essence Scatter actually. Jesus Christ. Countering Guardian and Pondering Mage is pretty big game. I'll be honest. Wretched Griff is an awesome card. I love Wretched Griff. Draws us. It's like half a Mall Drifter with a bigger body that you got to sacrifice a shitty Dirtle to. What are you getting back here? Remove soul. Cool. Hmm. That's pretty decent. Or maybe it will be at one point. Alright. Just gonna keep passing. You have something to do? Wow. Wow. Well, 
Might as well get in there. I guess they get dragged down now. That's rough. Yep. Whatever. Yeah, their deck's also very good. Apparently, I think the blue-white decks are pretty nuts. Wow, you... Wait, the Wretched Griff is what you countered? That's interesting, because I still get to draw the card. Hmm. Oh, that's not a creature at all. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven total right now. So we know they have remove in hand. Hmm. Should have got mana leak. Crack Omen? Blink Mnemonic Wall. Sure. Drag under again. Okay. Six cards in hand. Drag under one spirit. Sure. And you can feel it all over. This dude, the desert is really ruining my day. See what you got, I guess? I don't know. Should have got Mana Leak. This place. Then return those cards to the battlefield. Sure, that's really annoying. Now I'll get Mana Leak. Okay. Let's still get in there. Oh, we could have played Griff there and gotten away with it. Ah, that was rough. And we just have to, like, start doing things, right? Thank you. Michael B. Chip, chip, brah, brah. Michael B., did you just resub from work, my dude? What a time to be alive. Michael B. with the work resub. They're at four. They get to shoot one spirit. Sure. Michael B, I started streaming today at like at like two o'clock, man. It was wild. Oh, they played an arrest. So can we steal this guy and attack for four and kill them if they have nothing? Yeah, Mike B. Join when you get join when you get back, man. And then we can actually go get food at a reasonable time. God. This one mnemonic wall has been like a nightmare, dude. Jesus. Ah, <sighs> if 
five cards in hand, huh? What did you get back? Drag under, because of course you did. This is this this deck is way more obnoxious than my deck. We really have to sneak in a guardian of the guild pact, because that guy is real nice. You know they have Remove Soul and Dragon Hand, which is and three other cards. We can blink our Siren at the end of their turn. Jesus Christ. Like, that's ridiculous. That doesn't seem fun at all. So they just get Ghostly Flicker and, like, Displace back? Or, like, Mana Leak? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the next game. I don't, I don't foresee a way we're gonna win this. Jeez. Like, cards like Water Knot that stay on board are not great here. I think we're just hoping that we, like... I don't even know, man. Maybe this 8-drop's good. <laughs> I mean, it just feels like their, their deck takes a little bit to get going. All right. Rant Ephemeron would be nice here. But alas, it was too good. I guess there's still one, there's one turn, but then we want, we want lands too, so. We did hit a land. I like it. There's a lot of power on board for a turn three, and they didn't actually do anything. Well, now they did. I mean, this adds two more power to the board. It's like kind of like playing a 2 2, I guess. In a sense. Yeah, that's annoying. Alrighty then. Uh, I guess I'll add a second blue. Uh, Guardian Feet. Yeah, we're keeping all of these. Um, one, 
two, three. No, no shuffs. Land. Can't attack here, unfortunately, but uh, I think we're still way, way ahead. They're just not going to do anything. Checks out. Hmm. If we attack with both, thank you. They take one. Jeeves, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Sure. So they gain two, take three. Fine by me. Yeah, that's fine. That's not exciting. That's a one for one as far as I'm concerned. My turn to blink. Oh yeah. Get busy pondering. Oh, calcite's now. Um, this is again not super exciting. But we're still keeping it. Because Trippy Boys is pretty decent. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's no, 11, right? And we want to keep up 3. So we only have 8 mana to work with. Which means you can attack with 2 dudes. Like you do. I don't know why they didn't block here last turn and then blink. But, you know. What do I know? Triplicate spirits. Sure. Momentary blink has left the building. I mean, they got a lot of cards going on, but I feel like we're a little ahead. We're going pretty wide here, boys. Got a blink and a feat. Yeah. Interesting, interesting mana to keep up there. they have something cloud shift sure let's give it pro blue it doesn't matter but now we can actually resolve a guardian which is pretty nuts yep that's what we wanted to do Fascinating. I will quad quadruple block, my dude.
sure. <sighs> Obnoxious, but... <laughs> Seems fine. Yep. 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 Okay. Three. So you, you're going to bounce something, I'm sure. No. Okay, you change your mind. I'm sure they have something, some bounce effect or Wow, this is a hell of a block we're doing here, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. T -t Today, Junior? Okay. Fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. All fine. Now you're going to play whatever trick you have that you've been holding for 74 years. Sure, temporal isolation on 3-4. And now you're going to drag down something else, I bet. Ghostly Flicker. That guy and just that guy. Okay. Alright. We're doing it. And we have Momentary Blink in the yard. That's pretty nice. Sure. Well, now you have the combo. The Wombo Combo. Glad there's multiple versions of that in here. So if we Alpha, they block two things. They're going to or block three things, right? Block the three biggest. They still take one, two, three, four. They take two. But, I mean, they're not blocking this. They're probably going to go just block, block, block. They take one, two, three, four. Right? So, I mean, it's it's basically, and they're gaining two from this guy. So, presumably, it's the same as just attacking with Guardian. Like, they could block here, and it's, and it's not great, I guess. They go block here, block here, block here. Blink these two. I, mean, I want a momentary blink the pondering mage for sure. I guess we were in combat, so we're just gonna skip our combat this turn. Yep, that was that was pretty bad. Instead of putting them to five, we did not do that. Sure. Yeah, that sucked. That's fine. We know, like, two of the cards in your hand. Oh, that's actually good, because I was going to literally blink that guy anyway. Wow, that's great. Really? Uh, 
That's fascinating. Interesting. I really want the Mist Raven, but I don't want the other two cards because they're lands. I guess they're actually decent with Snapper, though. All right, we'll give it a shot. Yep. Okay, so your Life Linker is out of commission. Sure, get Flicker back. Draw your cards. Again, this is like, I'm really having, I'm really having a. It's kind of annoying to have to disrupt the infinite combos uh, two games in a row. <laughs> yeah, I was like, do that. Do that, my dude. This is interesting. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, resolves. Bounce this guy. We're bouncing this guy because they wanna they're gonna want to blink the guy we bounce, but they're if they want the two four blocker, they're also gonna have to block that so they don't get to blink our Kaomancer. So I'm pretty sure they're just gonna blink, blink these two. We're gonna play planes, face fetters, get rid of one of their blockers, and that might be game. Oh, yes. See, that's what we were thinking. And now, that's gone. Yes. Fetters on you. Alpha. Let's see what happens here. Yep, 1-2 on 4-1. On that guy getting off the board is great. So you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You'd be dead had we attacked with the Guardian last turn. But having Guardian on board here is still pretty good. And that might be good enough. Okay. You got it. None of the cards... Okay, you have Flicker. I mean, you only have 5 mana to work with, 3 of which is going to be Flicker. So you really got to deal with this guy. You'd be dead if we didn't skip through our combat phase. Keep that in mind. I mean, you have to have a gold card here. I don't see that being likely. Oh, GG's at 20 life, my dude. Flawless victory. Man, our deck is good. You're at the 10 yard line. Beep, 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 beep. See how excited I was there? You're a Chulie's Gum representative? What up, shaker of milks? M -m 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 milks. I will play first. Um, I don't hate this hand. A two drop would be glorious, my dudes. I can hear Hunter snoring in the background. Dreaming, not snoring. All right, well, see if we can 3-0 this cube.
that's that's a two that's a two mana card, but that's not a two drop. Let's be clear about this. Oh, a Keldon Marauders, eh? We could blink that guy, take a million. I mean, he'll just be dead soon, so that's fine. You'll be dead. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. I'll, I'll be careful. My friend doesn't like you. I don't like you either. Hold on one second. What does this guy do? When it dies, I take two whole... I take... I lose two hit points. I'll just bounce that, dude. Now who's the, the beatdown? Wow, do they firebolt my face? That's aggressive. You're typing signs of the hackers in the original Ghost in the... Uh, it's a... It's a sweet mechanical keyboard. Key, keyboard? Keyboard? You know what I'm saying. Oh, look at this little biscuit. Man, it's too bad you didn't keep that firebolt. Can you imagine? You'd be able to firebolt my guy right now. All right. Yep. Any order, shuffle it up. Oh, that's worse. I mean, land, land, cloud, concealer is not great, so I don't feel terrible about that. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. Mike gets off in like 20 minutes. Oh, you're lashing out, my dude. Wretched Griff? Oh, shit, that's definitely... That's definitely more expensive. I'm going to keep that dude on the tippy top. Because I'll just cast him. What's got into that cat, friskies? Yeah, I'm not getting rid of a 3-4 to get another 3-4. I'm just going to wait till I have one more land and then just cast Wretched Griff. Wretched Griff is the expen most expensive card in our deck, so we're either drawing a land next turn and we can cast it. Or we're drawing a spell, and we can cast it, so. Okay. Seems good. What's got into that cat? Friskies! You guys know the Frisky song? Because we're singing it right now. We're living that Friskies life, my dudes. My guys float, man. What are you trying to? What are you trying to? What kind of shenanigans are you trying to run here? Hey, 
And we got both feet and momentary blink. Yikes. That's my favorite song. John, what's going on, my dude? Always love seeing you. Dalkery, what's going on, buddy? Just got capsized fifth pick. It is a miserable card. It is a miserable, miserable card. Um, we have one card left after this. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather just play Wretched Griff. Music basically peaked with the Frisk. That's true. You're not incorrect. A land was not what we were looking for, but... This is a Meow Mix chat, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Take your Friskies out of here. This is a Meow Mix chat. Oh, wow, we're at nine? Jeez. I hope we're okay. What's got into that cat? Frisky. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Nailed it. I don't know what they do here. I feel like they're in they're in dire straits. What'd they do? They put both on the bottom. I was like, none of these are going to save you. So I guess that's what we're doing. Break me of a piece of that fancy feast. Gonna play this guy and tap him down. Oh, they left. They were like, you know what? We're good. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Lone Missionary. Good old snappy boy. I'm going to take out Ray of Command. That doesn't seem great here. Everything else seems real good, though. I do like a Curse of Chains over an Arcolepsy. Guardian seems bonker. Every The Guardian should just be in the main deck. What did Mike B say about the juices? I don't even know what that means, man. I don't even know what that means. Smokey Loki, did you have a different name? Because you've been stuck for five months, but I don't remember this name until very recently. I think we're just playing 41 because I'm mania. I'm crazy. That dude's wild. Oh, wow. Arant Ephemeron. Oh, boy. If it isn't my internet, Dad. What up, what up Scooney Love? Always a pleasure, my dude. My son, my beautiful son, my, my baby boy. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Foot cream. Foot cream. Look at all these, look at all these dirtles. Dalkery, do you like the Popper Cube so far? I'm three matches in and I do like it. I think there are definitely some grindy matches, like some grindy archetypes. Like the matchup I played, uh, the deck that I played against last, yeah, last match was like where they had like the recurring ghostly flickers and you're just like, all right, well, can't deal with that, so... That's my beautiful baby boy. Oh, this guy's... Look at this guy. Oh, I'm going to attack you with my hasty body. Okay, well, take it easy. This guy coming down next turn? Two turns? Oh, good lord. Oh, that guy's great. Alternatively, we can play Siren this turn. Block one, and next turn we can play this guy and keep up Blink. That seems real good. Oh, what up, Caspi, my dude? 
Is it better to use the mana or to just get two blockers out? This guy's not coming down next turn, right? No. All right. Yeah, we'll just we'll just click Sire next turn. We'll sandstep and and blink. Or, or actually, we can actually go triplicate spirits next turn, can't we? You don't even remember your username, Smokey Loki? Unbelievable. Oh, what up, my prude? <laughs> oh dear God. I actually kind of like the two blockers here. Whatever. I'll block one goblin. They might have magma jet. And then we'll be like, burp, burp, burp. And then we'll do we'll do one of these jobbies. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Fancy feast. Fancy feast. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. This is a weird art. Like, it's like crawling down the side. It's real... It's not okay. It's real creepy. I think I counter this. I mean, they're definitely going to magma jet it, right? Can't firebolt it. Quake foot cyclops. Can't block it. Okay, you got it. That's fine. Break me off one piece of the fancy piece. Oh, 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 oh. So we can actually attack, play Mardu Horde Chief. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. What's the best course of action here? Probably playing the six drop that's three blockers. And they're going to go rapid flame, and I'm going to be like, what is even happening right now? I blame Mike for a lot of things. I'm like, Michael, the stock market's tanking, buddy. And he's like, yeah, sorry. And I'm like, Michael, why is it snowing today? And he's like, yeah, sorry. And I'm like, Michael, my dinner wasn't very good. Why Why is that? And he's like, yeah, sorry. And I'm like, dang. Stop being responsible for all these. Wow, that was interesting. Okay, so Fat Daddy, Fat Daddy comes out of the, out of the gate here. Oh, well, that's a good dude if we hit another Islandos. Okay, so we just dealt almost as much damage as they've dealt this whole game, so that's that's a good feeling. More than a feeling. We gotta keep up momentary blink because I don't want no active treasons or some shenanigans. But they didn't cast anything last turn with six mana. Okay, nothing end of turn either. This is ten damage right here. Oh my god, are we three owing our first our first pauper cube, ladies and gentlemen? Is that what's happening? Is that is that what we're doing? I also blame Mike for not being in control of things that are out of I that's what I'm saying. That's where I'm at right now. Give me that lone missionary. That's similar but different. Everybody get in the red zone right now. All right. Your move. Oh, God. Wow, I didn't think Fire Blast was in this cube. Because why would it be? Good gee, good gravy. All right. Can you deal four more damage to me? I'm cringing. Oh, my goodness gracious. 3-0 in our first pauper cube. We got a thorn of the Black Rose, which is cool because being the monarch is sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Before we go, I'm going to open these treasure chests. But make sure you check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You can get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below. Let's open one of these, one at a time. An Archon and 35 play points. That ain't bad. All right. Five more play points and we got 200. Oh, we did it in a Thrun. I don't even know what Thrun goes for. Let's see what's in here. Open all these bad boys. We're opening all these. Oh, Fatal Push. I think that's my fourth Fatal Push. Necropolis Fiend. Tinder Wall. Oh, that's good art. I like that art. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out patreon.com slash franklaport. It's a great way to support the channel for $1 or $2 a month. Cool Stuff Inc. I had a new article go up just today. Check it out. Coolstuffinc.com. It's right at the top. And you can check out my thoughts on the new Banner Restricted announcement. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.